An Oaks winner and a Gold Cup third dominating the market here. And this horse is Miss United, who runs such a wonderful race for Michael Winters in the Gold Cup. 11 to 4 market leader. Yes, the form was let down in our previous race, but that was then. And that was a different day. This is now, this is the Lily Langtree. It's about 14 furlongs, whether she's as effective with her front running tactics here. And she's market leader uh, to beat these fillies and mares this afternoon. Glorious scene here at Goodwood. Rejoin us after this for the Lily Langtree. Well, here's the trainer of the favourite, Michael Winters. What a run it was at Ascot, as we were saying, a little bit earlier on in the studio. And how's she been since? Yeah, she's in great farm. She came home and she was mildly stiff in a few muscles, but basically she was very good. And have you always had this race in mind? Uh, we hadn't really, because I suppose she started off winning bumpers and stuff, and she kept progressing. And during the fans, the owners, they, are, they know where they're going with me, and they're very comfy with, with whatever um, course they're taking. So we're going along with it, and we're very happy. We're delighted. And what was the plan travelling over? Well, we travelled over Tuesday evening, and uh, we arrived yesterday, and we'd all day yesterday at ourselves, and we were all out this morning. And, uh, you know, it's working so far for her, you know. It is, and different conditions today, different track. Do you think she'll suit it? Yeah, they're a fantastic quarter grass in it. I'd say the track is very good, I couldn't fault it. Do you know, ideally, if it poured rain, they got heavy, so it'd probably slow down the rest of them a bit. And, do you know, she's a small bit of the action of what you're going down there now. And um, you'd be out afraid of a day that she might just get cut for a bit of toe or something like that. But she looks a million dollars, so we've done it and make the best of it. She doesn't the, the plan to head on a lead again? Yeah, well, I'd say the jockey, he knows whether there's someone going to go on. If there isn't anyone, he'll, he'll jump out and he'll bowl away himself. So Michael, we'd love to see you in the winner's enclosure. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you, Gina. Bye now. And Miss United is a three to one favourite here for the Sterling Insurance Lily Landry Stakes. It's a group three contest for fillies and mares. And this race was actually only introduced to the Goodwood programme back in 2003. And only two favourites in 11 runnings have won it. And this next lady we're going to see is as tough as they come. Uh, she ran her heart out in the Gold Cup, making the running for a long way and keeping on gamely. She's shown a good level of form in Ireland before that, and she's very much respected. Big positives here in the race is the horse that Graham has just spoken about. Stella Bellissima, 11-2 in to 9-2 on her second only start. The other positive is this Arabian Comet for William Haggis, 8 in to 7-1. To Miss United did allow to be touched to 3-1, to one, now come back into 11-4, to four, but generally very weak indeed. And the bookmakers here enticing punters in with a very attractive percentage as a whole in this race. Complete contrast from the last race. Look out for Arabian Comet at 7-1. to one. Now Miss United back out to 3s. Second favourite behind Miss United at 3-1, to one, Simon Holt. And away they go. Talent was a bit slow out of the stalls. So too was Stella Bellissima and Arabian Comet in a noseband is towards the rear as Miss United adopts the front-running role that uh, was so nearly successful in the Gold Cup at the Royal Meeting. Uh, Miss United almost joined by Nymphia, the German raider. Quite an international field here. Runners from France, Ireland, Germany, plus the home team. And Nymphia now goes on ahead of Miss United into the far turn. Baroness Daniela for France is back in third, then Whaler in fourth place. And then they'll followed a couple of lengths away by Stella Bellissima, who's uh, recovered to the midfield on the outside of Honor Bound. Three lengths then to Groove Jet, Talent Held Up, Arabian Comet, and Beacon Lady as they now run towards the back straight, swinging slightly right-handed, and it's Nymphia from Miss United in second. Whaler and Ryan Moore in the dark blue yellow cap to the outside of Baroness Daniela, then honour bound nearest to us with Stella Bellissima. Three or four lengths then to the others, including the Oaks winner Talent at the back with Groove Jet, Arabian Comet and Beacon Lady, and they're quite well stretched out now with uh, Nymphia applying a fair pace to Miss United in second. Certainly looks a better run contest than the Goodwood Cup was a little earlier on at this stage. Then uh, in third is Baroness Daniela on the inside of Whaler, followed by Stella Bellissima and William Buick on a bound is in sixth place. They're followed by Groove Jet, Talent, then Arabian Comet second last, and lastly the undulating course specialist Beacon Lady. Climbing now towards the three-quarter mile marker and in fear by a half length to Miss United. These two pressing on as they approach the right-hand turn at the top of the home straight. 
And swinging now, Nymphia from Miss United with Baroness Daniela on the inside of Whaler. Not too many changes in the order. Stella Bellissima just fifth on the outside of Honor Bound. Then Groove Jet Talent, Arabian Comet and Beacon Lady. And they're still quite well strung out here with Nymphia still out in front under the Dutch rider Adri de Vries from Miss United. The Gold Cup third, Jim Crowley in second place. Whaler is third. Then on the outside is the inexperienced Philly Stella Bellissima being asked a few questions now by William Buick on a bound. Baroness Daniela losing positions. Talent is running on last year's Oaks winner. Red Cap Talent and Richard Hughes as Miss United got to the lead ahead of Whaler. Then Nymphia. Talent is still running on. Arabian Comet from the back as well. Whaler now serving it up to Miss United. Talent switched to the inside. Still gaining. Followed by Groove Jet is also staying on inside the final furlong. Miss United nothing if not game. Whaler wearing her down on the outside. Miss United and Whaler. Arabian Comet finishing well up the far side. Miss United stretches her neck to win. What a tough mare she is. Tight second Arabian Comet on the far side of Whaler. Then Groove Jet and Talent. Beacon Lady Stella Bellissima on a bound. And Nymphia and Baroness Daniela, the last two. Miss United at 3-1. A very brave third in the Gold Cup at the Royal Meeting has called on all her considerable reserves of courage and enthusiasm to win this Lily Langtree Stakes. Looks as though Arabian Comet on the far side has snatched second of Whaler. Talent in fourth, Groove Jet in fifth. What a tough nut this mare is, and there might be some celebration from the winning trainer, Michael Winters, in the next few moments. Here he is. Michael Winters, that's what it means to him. Small trainer with a horse that's got a huge, huge heart. Age shall not wither them at Goodwood today. Eight years old cavalryman, seven years old Miss United, a combined total of 15 years, and they've won in such tough style. Uh, Jim Crowley has dismounted Miss United, and she looks very sore indeed, I'm sad to report. And you can see for yourselves. Uh, that is a... Uh, a most unfortunate postscript to what was a superb performance. She has given everything here. She was tackled on all sides. Waila, Ryan Moore, yellow cap. Inside, red cap, talent, ducking and weaving in and amongst horses. The finisher, Arabian Comet, the yellow silks there, Joe Fanning for William Haggis. They came at her from every angle and she fought them off with such bravery. The three to one favorite Miss United. And let's keep our fingers crossed that she has not injured herself as potentially seriously as it appears there. Yeah, well, what a brave, brave mare this is. Unbelievable, brilliantly trained by a man who, I suppose you could call him a little bit eccentric, Michael Winters, but be prepared for some pretty amazing celebrations because he loves a party. Let's for the moment just hope this mare is OK. We'll try and catch up with Jim Crowley in a few moments' time. Let's get the result from Tanya. A stirring and enthralling and heartwarming victory for Miss United. They came one by one, but they could not conquer. Miss United wins the three to one favourite and a very generous SSP, considering what price she was this morning. Bookmakers were keen to take Miss United on, and they got that wrong wrong. Arabian Comet was back, she finished second at seven to one, and third was Whaler at six to one. Gina's with Jim Crowley, the winning jockey now. He is, and Jim just jumped off. Just talk us through, how does she feel? Yeah, she just pulled up a bit, a bit sore there after the line. She's actually walking off a little bit better now. Um, but yeah, I hope she's okay. Yeah, and Michael said before he was concerned about that ground, and she's given it all, hasn't she? Do you think just maybe a little bit uh, jarred up on it? Yeah, I mean she's unbelievably tough. It's just uh, one of the toughest horses I've ever ridden because yeah. obviously she's feeling the ground there, and uh, just kept pulling her into the other horse and keeping her interested and and. Uh, She's battled so well, you know, she was never going to be passed. So they've thrown everything at you and normally she's led. Were you happy just to take in and she settled nicely in behind the leader? Yes, look, she doesn't have to make it and, uh, you know, just fingers crossed she's OK. Yeah, fingers crossed and well done, Jim. Thank you. Well, we heard it all there. What a heart she's got. She ran the race of her life in the Gold Cup last time out, where she had a really, really tough race. And again, she had a, she had a battle on her hands a long way out, didn't she? And she's, uh, she's just kept finding great, and you were cheering her on. That was one rugged performance from an amazingly popular 
uh, Philly on both sides of the Irish Sea. I think it's a year tomorrow since she won that big hurdle at Galway. She's four from seven over hurdles, but it's on the flat where she's made a name of late. And Asuka and Goodwood, she's laid it all down, Jim. Yeah, well, we'll come back to that in a minute, but I think Nick's got the wing trainer. I, I have. This is, this is Michael Wizard. Michael, we're, we're watching on here as, as Jim's unsaddling her away from the winner's enclosure. I guess a mixture of elation and a slight concern. Well, I don't really know. I didn't check with her yet, but just going down to the staff, she was just using her reaction a little bit high, and probably through the race she was galloping as fast as she probably could go, you know, and then she ran half of a line. It's quite unbelievable, the courage she showed. She yeah. was flanked on all sides. There were finishers coming at her. That last fellow must have seemed an eternity to you. Well, I tell you, I, I said we did one, and we hadn't did one. I nearly ran into the camera over there trying to get her up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fabulous, but in Seattle, now, she's, um, I suppose she's a one of a lifetime. Yeah, she's treated everybody in the national hunt scene. They had fantastic scenes out of her, and, you know, it's great to be able to share her with maybe the national the flat scene as well for people. And, you know, I suppose the you know, Irish people at the moment are missing her in Galway, but, like, in fairness, it's fabulous to be here as well, and um, I hope she'll be fine after. But look, every day is a day with her, and if there's anything wrong with her, she won't be asked to go. Are you looking forward to putting her in full in, in due course? Well, I'm not really, but I'm the owner who's probably <laughs> are. <laughs> Michael, many congratulations. Thank you very much, and we'll just keep our fingers crossed she's okay. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you she very be much. Anyway. Well okay. done. Thanks. Is she, is she